All right, guys, so this is so exciting. I am getting ready to interview Tara Scubella from Naked and Afraid. And if you followed me for any length of time, you know that I am a Naked and Afraid fanatic. So just hang on, I'll be right back. Oh my gosh, hi, hi. Tara. Tara. You're naked. I'm naked. Why? <laughs> I love to be naked. Why aren't you naked? Um, I did not want to be naked for this interview. I can't believe that you came to my home naked. Um, okay. I'm always naked. You're always naked. I'm always naked. So, are you, so you're just gonna let me interview you naked? This no, is kind of you should be naked too. We should be naked together. Okay. You know what? I'm a fan. Let's do this. I'll be right back, guys. I gotta get naked. <laughs> so uh, we're naked. Um, I am a little afraid if we're being honest. I am afraid right now, but I was so excited that you agreed to come to my home. Didn't know you were going to be naked. Thanks Surprise. for that. Um, but I love, I absolutely love the show. So I want to say thank you for reaching out. You're welcome. I can't believe I'm here with you. <laughs> but, but here's the thing. Seriously. As somebody who watches the show so often, my question to you, I wanted to ask questions that viewers probably really have, but we don't ever get the answers to. Yes. Okay. So first off, you're naked. You're meeting this person for the first time. You've never seen them before. Do you automatically look at the Dinglehopper? <laughs> yes. Yes, you do. You got to check out not only that, just for a second, just to get it over with, at least for me. You're also sizing up your partner's body. Are they going to be strong enough? Do they have enough meat on them to last? Oh, hot damn. For okay. 21 days. So you're checking out the dingle dang, the schling schlong. Um, you probably catch a, a look at the, at the behind. The bells and the behind. Oh, the bells. Oh, <laughs> oh, she's looking at the bells, people. Oh, man. Okay. That's true. There's probably a lot of times when you're in the woods and there's, they bend over and it's like, oh, there's, there's them. You them, just got to break the ice, right? Them jingle balls. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Did he, did he, Hobbs was your partner. Did he go straight to look at the ninnies and the hoo-ha? I don't know. I don't even think we've had that conversation. Oh, you have to ask. Yeah. You so need to know. Hobbs, I was looking at your dingle, whatever. <laughs> dingle dang. Dingle, at your dingle dang and checking out your bells. But I don't know if he was looking at me. I think maybe he was a little disappointed. You know, he, he was in his late twenties at the time and I was 41. Oh, um, and I was forty-one. Oh, you know, I, like well, I'm looking at right I'm looking at you naked. I've got no complaints. I have zero complaints. So I'm just saying, Hobbs was a lucky man. So you are on record on Naked and Afraid for having the most bug bites. I believe so, still to date. I think so. Okay, because I did do some research. Because you know, I like to get my stories and my facts straight. But um, you were covered head to toe in say it. Chitras. 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 Yep. Over 2,000 at any given time. It was so gross. Your body looked like ground beef. Like yeah. just, just, it was, yep. it was awful. Did they bite your vagina? No. I prepared my body very, very consciously knowing that we have hair on our body for a reason. Oh. <laughs> the so. <laughs> the the <laughs> The places that I could cover, I covered. I let them take their natural growing course and oh. it saved me. So your muffin <laughs> was in full bloom and that took care of that. Yeah. So did you research that beforehand? <laughs> no, I didn't. But I thought back to our ancestors. Oh yeah, they probably mm. didn't have waxing back then. No. <laughs> all right all I'm, right i'm part greek <laughs> okay all right all right uh i, I, I understand mean, yeah. pooping in the woods so everybody has to poop pooping is just part of life but my question to you is what were you doing were you digging holes what were you wiping with what is the poop situation when you are naked and afraid in a jungle for 21 days well i was very fortunate i only pooped once <laughs> Three weeks. You pooped no one joke. time? No joke. Just How? one time. Oh, because you didn't eat. Because I didn't eat. And the one time that I did poop, it was maybe three or four days in, and I knew it was coming, and I knew it was not going to be pretty. So I hiked as far away as I could from everybody in the production crew, and I told them not to follow me. 
but you know we we wear this little um, necklace that has a um, oh my gosh microphone we wear a little necklace that has a microphone in it and I went around the corner and I knew they were gonna hear everything and I was in some foliage and I just crouched down and I just it was not pretty. I just had explosive diarrhea. Oh <laughs> everywhere. my gosh. <laughs> it was so terrible. Oh my gosh. And that wasn't the worst of it. The worst of it was when you're done and you're running, right, to release yourself, you're looking around, there isn't any toilet paper. Right. And it's just on your legs, <laughs> Tara, it's on your legs. You crapped on your legs, Tara. I my legs. Oh kind of running down. <laughs> And the leaves that we had, we were told not to use them because this white milky substance comes out and we would have a rash. So I had to put that fear aside because there was nothing else to use but these milky substance leaves. And you know, like most leaves are kind of smooth. There's nothing to grab on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So... Did you like go to the stream and wash off after the explosive diarrhea? Tell me you washed <laughs> off after I the. Did, okay. But I had to make sure I went a little bit downstream right, from where we collected our water. Because then you're just eating duty <laughs> yeah. water. Don't That's eat, don't eat that. Like your poop. No. Yeah. No okay. Way. I would not survive on Naked and Afraid whatsoever. But I just I every time I watch an episode and I watch them take a drink without purifying it, I just literally I sit there and I blurt out loud, "You're gonna have the diarrhea. You're gonna die from the diarrhea." Because it's just it's it happens almost all the time. Yep. Yeah. And I you was, did it. You got lucky. I was so freaking lucky. Like, I think that's one of the very, very few times where we drank water straight up and we were okay the entire time. We didn't boil it once. Not even once. <laughs> you should have played the lottery when you were done. <laughs> no risk taking. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. Um, okay. So best part of Naked and Afraid, having been, been there for 21 days in the jungle of... Panama, Isla San Jose. Panama. Yeah. What was the best part? The best part was at one moment, I was laying on the ground. It was at night. I was closing my eyes. I was right next to the fire. Everything, like nature was aligned. Mother Earth was aligned. My energy was aligned. And I would not have believed this beforehand, by the way. This is an after realization. I could feel the pulse of Mother Earth <gasps> below me. Did you feel the pulse of Mother Earth? Yep. You belong on Naked and Afraid. You belong with all those people on Naked and Afraid. I love it. Worst part. Worst part. The worst part was another internal lesson. Mm -hmm. um, I went in there, I thought, with an open mind. And I was really disappointed in my partner's skills. Mm -hmm. And so I had to come to terms that even though our survival tactic was different from each other, um, it didn't have to just be my way, <laughs> that it was okay, that he could have his own journey. And I really had to honor that. And once I was, that was really hard for me to do. Yeah. Well, he was, um, Hobbes was painted in a very specific light and that light was him being lazy. Mm -hmm. He laid around, they showed him sleeping all the time. At one, t at one point you did kind of have this little breakdown where you were like, he needs to get up and he needs to do something. Yeah. He needs to do. The fire went out. Yeah. He let your fire go out. And and when that happens on the show, anytime I see somebody's <laughs> fire go out, I physically get like I get Heidi on the couch watching it because you know that the fire is what keeps everything going. Yeah. That's what how you cook your food mm -hmm. if you get any. That's how you stay warm. That's how you keep the bugs off of you. That's how you keep the animals away. So anytime I Every see day. that and somebody's fire goes out, I'm like, oh god. They, do you have, do you, can you start another fight? Like I'm on the couch, like mm -hmm. getting so upset for you guys, because I realize like that's the lifeline of camp. And the fact that he let the fire go out deflated you. Yeah. Like at least what they showed on the, on the show. I was so disappointed because I had asked him just to do that one thing. <laughs> Sorry, Hobbs. Does that sound really familiar <laughs> to every married yeah. person on the planet? I asked him to do one thing. <laughs> Um, and I'm not really one, I'm actually getting better at asking for help, but especially then I was not very good at asking for help. So I kind of felt like, okay, this one thing, I'm just going to be over here. If you could just watch the fire and 
throw a log on, you know, every 15, 20 minutes or something, a stick. Um, I was, I was pretty disappointed in that when I came back because I wasn't sure how long it was going to take to get a fire. Luckily it took like 20 minutes or something. No, you know what? I like clothing. I like beds. I like eating. I like coffee and alcohol. I don't, I'm not a prime candidate for naked and afraid. I don't think I'd survive. I think I'd tap out. I'd be, hello producer. Yes. Hi. I'm uncomfortable. Yes. I know it's been 10 minutes, but I need to go home. The, I think they, I might be making that call. I would like to see you on Naked and Afraid. <laughs> I don't think I could do it. I am, I do not know that I could do it. it the, the only thing that they would get is a lot, they'd get a lot of yelling. There'd be a lot of yelling. So the, 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 it would be endless footage of me screaming at my partner, one thing, I asked you to do one thing. So there was an instance when you first arrived where you thought you had a tick in a special place. Mm -hmm, a very special place. Right in between my buns. <gasps> the crack. The crack. So mm -hmm. was it was it awkward at all asking him to check out your body, like to spread your cheeks and look for ticks? Because <laughs> you had kind of just met. <laughs> we did. Yeah. Um, and I just put all that aside and I needed some help because I didn't want to catch like a tick-borne disease. No, and, like, that's serious. Yeah. Nope. No, so, no. well, you're going to see me naked for the next however many days. Can you check my butt crack too? And Hobbs. all shame aside. Hobbs, dig in there. Is anything in the crack, Hobbs? And it wasn't a tick. It was just no. a bug bite. Yeah. Yeah. I think it was a cheetra. <laughs> Even your cheetras. This poor woman. You'll have to go back and watch her episode. It was... A swarm, uh, season four. I feel like it was, it was four or five. Four or five, air date, October 25th, 2015. And by the way, today is the fifth year anniversary of insertion day we filmed this on insertion day <laughs> anniversary as we should so thank you for joining us this has been so much fun and um guys if you're not watching naked and afraid you're missing out because who doesn't want to sit on their couch and eat popcorn while they watch naked people yell at each other <laughs> i loved it bye guys bye bye